guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cool toned, simple eye look. Um, this look is perfect for every day and it has been what I've been wearing most days recently. This kind of look is really easy to do. I only use two different shadows um, and I just decided to pair it with a quite thick, bold eyeliner today. But recently I have been wearing it on its own without any liner and I like it just the same. I also paired it with some really nice fluttery eyelashes um, and then I also thought it would go very well with the Kylie lip kit and Candy K because it just ties the whole look together it's quite it's all quite cool toned and this time I put lip balm on before I applied the lip liner and I used the lip liner to fill in my whole lip so I'll see if it works out any different than it did when I tried it the other day um, but yeah so I'm really happy with the way this look turned out. It's really, really easy to do and perfect for every day. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So to start off with, I've already filled in my eyebrows using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Debut Promade in dark brown. And I'm just priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Just setting that with Walk of Shame from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. For my first shadow, I'm taking the first one I did from Makeup Geek and I'm just buffing this into the crease with a Deluxe Crease Brush from New Technique. To start with, I'm just adding the shadow very, very lightly into the crease because I want the shadow to be quite blown out. Barcelona Beach is perfect for this kind of look. It's a very nice cool tone brown. Now that I have the initial transition shade down in the crease, I'm taking the same shade first on a beach, but this time on a beige shadow brush, also from New Techniques. I'm just focusing this on the outer corner of the crease, taking it all the way in as well. Blending out the edges of the shadow as I go with the initial brush I use to apply the shade. I just take the initial dot toothbrush and just buff out the edges. Blending is so important with this type of look because it's only two shadows, it really is so easy to mess it up. So I just keep adding the shadow and blending it out and then add in more to build up the intensity.
last shadow for this look, I'm taking Vintage by Makeup Geek, which is a nice dusky purple shade. focusing vintage more on the outer corner and bringing it slightly on the side. Now that my eyeshadow is done, it's time for liquid liner. So to create my wing, I'm just using the tail tape pick. I'm just putting some tail tape on the back of my hand to get some stickiness. And then I'm just lining it up with the edge of my eye and the end of my mouth. So to save my liner, I'm using the Maybelline Master Ink Liner in black, but it's a satin version. Normally I use the matte version and this is the first time I tried the satin version of this product and after using it in this tutorial I found that the matte one is so much better I definitely wouldn't recommend the satin one because I feel like it kind of bunched up and was a lot more difficult to apply um, the matte one is definitely a whole deal for me Now that the liner is done, it's time for mascara and today I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. With this look, I decided to wear some falsies and I'm using the Eyewear Lengthening Lashes in the style number 115. I'm just applying that with the dual brush on blue and dark. Highlight, I'm taking the highlight area about all of my videos, which is the Urban Decay After Glow Highlight in Shade Sin. Now I'm off to the rest of my makeup and I'll just be right back to finish off my eyes. I'm just taking vintage on a pencil brush and smudging this on the lower lash line.
making a larger brush just to smudge that out. And lastly, I'm applying Benefit Roller Lash to my bottom lashes. And that is makeup look done. So I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and please stay tuned for the next one. Bye!